Hi, Frank here from Abinic Allergist. Today, I'm going to guide you on some of the changes on our system. So this is the second video, and if you missed the first one, I will link the description below. Okay, let's start. So I am here at the login page of our MC portal. But before we start, let me just say again that this is the second part tutorial kung paano nyo gagamitin ang ating online system. Now, uh, yung first tutorial showcases the login, the reset of email, and reset of password as well as enrollment. If you're looking for that tutorial, there's a link on the description below. So, this video is beneficial sa ating mga college, masterals, and high school student. So, if you're a uh, student of Mabini Colleges, it is highly recommended to watch this tutorial. Okay. So, let me just log in to our MC portal using my account. Okay. So, the first notable change na makikita ninyo dito sa ating MC portal account is the first time you log in is dadalhin niya kayo dito sa complete your profile page. It is required na makompleto nyo lahat ng information na nandito because it is the requirement dun sa mga reports na i-generate para sa inyo. So kapag mayroong information na kulang, dadalhin kayo ng system dito sa form na ito to complete it. So the first thing that you need to know is yung field na may mga asterisk is required. And yung mga walang asterisk such as itong LRN is hindi siya required. So kahit empty siya, mag-go pa rin yung form natin. Now, uh, some form that needs clarification is itong household number. Yung household number is makikita nyo ito na nakadikit dun sa pinto o kaya sa dingding ng bahay ninyo. Dinidikit yan ng mga pumupunta sa bahay ninyo during census. Now, another one is yung household, uh, yung income. Yung income is yung total income ng family. So that is yung income ni mama plus yung income ni papa. Multiplied by 12 para makompute yung sa isang taon. Tapos divided by the total household member kung ilan kayo na nandun sa bahay. So let me just repeat. Yung total income is yung income ni mama plus income ni papa times 12 divided by kung ilan yung member ng family ninyo na nandun sa bahay ninyo. Okay, so that's income. So another thing to remember is uh, this information is editable. So kung sakali meron kayong information na hindi nyo alam, you can just leave things temporarily. For example, yung blood type natin, kung hindi nyo alam yung blood type ninyo, is you can just type O temporarily. Tapos kung alam nyo na, on your profile, pwede nyo pa naman siya mabago. So, isa sa mga critical information na posibleng magpa-error nung form ninyo is itong height and weight. Kapag zero siya, hindi siya mag-go. Merong error na lalabas. So, let me just complete this. Not my actual weight, pero yan na yun. Another one is na hindi dapat zero is itong primary year ninyo. Tapos yung intermediate year kung kailan kayo nag-graduate. So, dapat hindi rin siya zero. And let me just submit the form para makapunta na tayo dun sa profile page. So, nandito na tayo dun sa profile page. So, activity tab should display all the information on your current enrollment. So, since hindi pa ako enrolled, ang nakalagay lang dito na status is registered. And it tells me na pumunta dun sa enrollment tab. And then, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na pwede kayong mag-edit ng information na nilagay ninyo is nandito sa settings tab. So, yung kanina na temporary information na blood type is you can change that information here. Uh, bibigyan ko ng highlight itong grade. So, i-discuss natin siya sa ibang section. Okay. Punta na tayo dito sa enrollment. Now, uh, if you are already enrolled, you probably realize na hindi kayo makapag-enroll ng mga subject with not already passed prerequisite. So kapag hindi pa passed mark as pass yung prerequisite ninyo, hindi nyo pa siya matitake. So take for example, yung P1 dito is hindi pa pasado, kaya hindi ko pa pwedeng itake yung P2. PE1 is the prerequisite of P1. 
PE2. So, huwag matakot kung may nakalagay na not yet passed. Hindi pa kayo bagsak. Probably, hindi pa lang nakapagpasan ng grade C teacher. Kaya, don't worry. You can still enroll PE2 kapag na-check ninyo na may marka na yung PE1. I will give an orientation kung saan nyo yun makikita maya-maya. Uh, so, this is good enough. Pwede tayong makapag-enroll kahit hindi pa kompleto yung subject. Kapag enroll na tayo, can, we, can all, we can add all this subject na available para maging, para maging regular tayo. So, as much as possible, what we aim at is kailangan nating ma-regular ma -regular student para hindi tayo mahuli dun sa graduation. Now, kapag enroll na tayo, what you'll see on the screen is look something like this. Before that, kailangan ko muna magpili ng um, payment option. So, let me just choose partial. And then, kapag enroll na tayo, another change na makikita ninyo is meron kayong makikita message dito. So, what that message basically tells is nag expire na yung registration and you need to accomplish your enrollment by paying the down payment or the full tuition fee on or before dun sa date na nakalagay dito. So, you will be given one day and the next day para makapagbayad. So, yung date ng registration ninyo hanggang kinabukasan, valid pa yung registration ninyo. Pero kapag naglampas kayo dun, marireset yung enrollment ninyo and magiging not registered uli yung status ninyo. So currently, since nakapili na ako ng subject and then nakapili na ako ng payment option, ang status ko ngayon is registered. Kung sakali magtatry ako na magbayad, medyo matagal na apart from this date, ang mangyayari is ibabalik ni system yung status ko into not registered. So, ang mangyayari nun, basically, is matatanggal lahat ng subject ninyo and kailangan nyo na siyang i-enroll. So, the risk on that is kung sakaling close na yung subject, hindi nyo na siya ma-enroll. So, as much as possible, kahit na hindi pa kompleto yung grades, you can choose a subject and pwede nyo na siyang i-enroll. Nevertheless, pwede nyo naman kasi siyang i-enroll at the later time kapag nakapagpasan ng grade yung teachers na may na prerequisite. Ang... Status ko na ngayon is registered. The next thing that I need to do is to pay for my down payment or my tuition fee. So you can go to Mabinig Colleges to pay in the cashier's office nung down payment. Pero there's another option. You can choose the online payment na highly in encourage. You'll just have to transfer a money, counterpart of your down payment or your full payment dito sa mga account na to. So, you can choose from BDO and BPI. So, pwede kayong mag-bank transfer o kaya naman is from GCash to bank. So, ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is you need to upload the proof of payment here. So, kailangan ma-upload ninyo yung proof of payment para malaman nung cashier's office na nag-send na kayo ng pera ng down payment dun sa mga online channel natin. So, please don't forget na mag-include ng proof of payment kung sakaling ang payment option na pinili ninyo is itong bank transfer. So, I am recently enrolled but there's still a problem kasi nga irregular pa rin yung status ko. What I am aiming is dapat maging regular siya para hindi ako mahuli sa graduation. So, ano ba yung pwedeng gawin para maging regular student uli? Now, you can click the enrollment tab dun sa bandang taas and it will open up again. And then, pwede na kayong mag-select ng subject dito given na nakita ninyo na may grade na yung prerequisite. So, that is kung nakita ninyo sa grade tab na meron ng grade yung PE2, then you can select PE2 and then mapapasama na siya dun sa subject na taken ninyo for the semester. Okay? So, ayan lang pag clinic ko siya, hindi pa rin siya passed. So, we need to wait. Now, um, another thing na kailangan yung ma-accomplish while still on your profile page is yung... NSTP2 schedule. 
So kung kayo ay merong subject na NSTP2, kailangan nyo mag-select ng schedule niya. So hindi pa tapos yung enrollment ninyo unless makapagpili kayo ng schedule for your NSTP2 component. So take note na yung NSTP2 is continuation siya ng NSTP1 ninyo. Take for example, kapag ROTC, ang component ninyo, yung NSTP, component 2 ninyo is ROTC2 din. So, kailangan nyo i-click yung button na to para makapag-select kayo ng NSTP schedule. By then on, tsaka lang kayo magiging enrolled dun sa certain component. So, kailangan nyo itong i-click. Another notable change dito sa enrollment natin is once you are enrolled, makikita nyo na agad yung schedule ng subject. Malalaman nyo na yung schedule, kung kailan kayo mag-meet, kung sino yung instructor. And kapag nakapag-set na ng class code si teacher, is makikita nyo na yung class code dito kung saan kayo mag-join. And also, makikita nyo na rin yan dito sa registration card. Doon sa registration card, makikita na natin yung date of enrollment kung kailan kayo nagbayad. And then, schedule nung subject na in-enroll nyo ngayong semester. Kailangan ninyo makapag-enroll ng subject dito sa enrollment tab kahit kayo ay enrolled na. Kasi this subject is related dun sa block na enrolled kayo during the enrollment. Take for example... Kapag kayo ay enrolled sa block A on your initial enrollment, lahat ng subject na iseselect nyo dito, lahat ng available subject na to, kapag sinelect nyo siya, is mapupunta dun sa block A. So, ibig sabihin, you'll never worry na magkukonflict yung subject ninyo dun sa iba pang enrolled subject ninyo. Kasi nga, related siya dun sa block. So, I suggest kapag nakumpleto na yung grade, It is, it is better na i-enroll nyo na siya dito sa enrollment tab kapag nakita ninyo na meron ng grade si teacher dun sa prerequisite subject kagaya nga nung PE2 na example natin kanina. Now, yung grade tab is makikita ninyo dito sa katabi ng activity tapos ng setting. So you can access your grade kahit meron kayong back accounts. So siya nga pala kung kayo ay merong back accounts, hindi kayo allowed na mag-enroll. So you need to accomplish your back accounts muna para makapag-click kayo dun sa enrollment tab. So kapag kayo ay hindi enrolled, ang makikita nyo dito sa activity tab is yung notification na kayo ay merong back accounts. Tapos yung way for you to pay your back accounts. So pwede pa rin yung mag-pay sa cashier's office and then pwede rin kayo mag pay dun sa online channel natin para ma-accomplish yung back accounts. So take note, iba yung payment sa back account tapos dun sa down payment. So kung kayo ay mag, may back accounts, so basically kailangan nyo magbayad dalawang beses. First is yung payment dun sa back account, another one is yung payment para dun sa down payment kapag nag-enroll na kayo. Na, balik tayo dito sa grade tab. So I just magnified it a little bit para mas makita natin yung features ng grade tab. Okay. So, ang makikita nyo dito sa grade tab is pwede na kayo dito mag-print ng registration card from your previous enrolled semester. So, take for example, yung 2020 to 21 per sem registration card is pwede nyo lang ma-access by clicking this button. So, kapag na-click nyo siya, lalabas na yung registration card ninyo on your per semester kagaya lang dati. And then, pwede nyo siyang i-print. So, aside from the rating, makikita nyo na rin dito yung breakdown ng grades ninyo. Why did it end up sa 98? Makikita nyo yung, yung reference dito sa parts. Makikita nyo sa dito sa bandang kaliwa ng rating. Okay? So, kung kayo ay senior high school or junior high school, makikita nyo rin dito yung grade ninyo sa first quarter, second quarter, tapos dun sa third quarter. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you have concern, you can email us at mabinicollegesames at gmail.com. You can call us at 0547211281. And we will do our best para makapag-response as promptly as possible. You can comment out question on this video para ma-attend natin siya. And you can 
contact your advisor, your subject teachers para matulungan din nila kayo. 